in the speaking today. Oh, really, it's oh. these drums that are centuries old, these trees that are with us that are doing the speaking today. That's what this is about. We have been taught from the time we were little that we have had no power. We've been taught from the time we were little that we aren't worth anything. And the reality is they've tried every kind of genocidal tactic on us and we are still here. Oh. And there's been a lot of damage done to our communities, to our families, to our peoples in many different ways. But we need to wipe that clean. We need to heal from that now because it's time for us to reach into our true selves. Reach into those ancestors that run in the, in the blood of our veins, in the, in the cells of our bodies, because we are all related to each other and to them. These trees, the water, the land, every part of the beings are depending on us because we have the ability to stop these machines, to stop that monster that's trying to lay its way across the tracks of our Mother Earth from our Turtle Islands. In the darkest hour, when the world has turned away and no one's watching, when the sky has turned gray and you have no options, when your voice is illegal, only choice for the people is to stand up proudly. In the face of death, it ain't a waste of breath when you speak up loudly. On behalf of the kids in the street with no pot to piss in, living on the young because their pop is missing. Don't know if he's dead or he's locked in prison. Disappeared, they consider him the opposition. And now I'm having visions of dreams I shouldn't see. Like, could we be this close? Nah, I couldn't be. But if the people in Egypt and Tunis could do this, decide they fate, then why wouldn't we? More than 40 years, he done brought the nation under occupation. We cannot be waiting, we gon' stop debating. When one of us dies, 10 jump in line, ready to box for Satan. You can't take our freedom or take our soul. Take our freedom or take our soul. You are not the one that's in control. You are not the one that's in control. Said, La ilaha is the law. No powers greater than God. Go ahead and devise your plans. At the end of the day, you are just a man. The movement is building. When the fathers pass the scars through to the children, they're shooting to kill them. But the question I'm asking is who's gonna heal them? Look up to the clear skies, then down to the ground where the blood, sweat and the tears dry. aftermath of the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the murder of Trayvon Martin, I know I personally felt like I got punched in the gut. Living black in America, we do know that it's rare that justice is served for black communities. The other thing we were hearing was, this is a terrible tragedy, and so what we need to do is X, Y, and Z. X, Y, and Z being pull up your pants. X, Y, and Z being we need to vote, we need better education, we need stronger families. But all of those things really blame black communities for our own conditions. So one of the things that we've been trying to talk about is how the exclusion of women and girls actually undermines the ability to see the structural dimension of the problem. We have a community of folks that are oppressed in many ways in, in black and brown communities by different state systems in different ways. We can't think that we can um, empower them in these communities by saying we're just going to empower the men. I think the mere fact we, there are folks who have to say that, like I matter, that means there's inherently something that's telling me that I'm not.
biz sadece parkın ve bu e, insani yaşamı savunuyorduk. Ama onların yaptıkları biz yürürken şu şekilde kolumuzda biber e, gaz bombası fırlatmak, halkın ortasına e, tomalarla girmek. Yani şöyle diyebilirim ki bu başbakan kendi halkına savaş açmıştır. Ve bunu bütün dünya görmeli. Gözleri Direne, direne, kazanacağız.